can have FTII students being shut up and not listened to. They can go on strike for as long as they want. A member of the government does not have the decency just to go there and say, okay, why are you complaining? After that, you can say, we don't agree with you. And you're wrong. But at least go there and have a conversation. The, the idea of the suit boot sarkar, hmm, which I raised in the parliament, essentially, if you look at, if you look at the way the government is operating, the Prime Minister had mentioned that he would produce 2 crore jobs a year, right? It's perfectly okay if you're focusing on large businesses and you're producing jobs that benefit people, right? In fact, India will only succeed if two things happen. Number one, that you grow the economy. And number two, that you take the benefits of that growth and you put them into poor people. Because really the strength of this country are poor people. Our biggest strength, people say, democratic dividend. Most of that democratic dividend is poor. Largest number of young Indians are not rich. So you have to take the economic growth and you have to transfer the economic growth to those poor people. The problem with the government is that they are slashing expenditure on making that, on, on, on the money that they should be sending to poor people. They are slashing education expenditure, they are slashing health care uh, expenditure, and by the way, there are no jobs. So I don't see where the jobs have been produced. All the government is doing right now is giving contracts to large business people. And that also very limited large business people. Five or six or seven businesses, business people who are close to the dispensation. And you, all, you, know, you know the names, I don't have to say the names. It's actually much worse than a suit boot sarkar. It is five or six suit boots ki sarkar. The Congress party in the last 10 years produced the fastest growth rate this country has ever seen. The reason we produced the fastest growth rate was because we were sending money to the poor. We were making poor people feel that they were part of this equation. If you in India do not make poor people feel that they are part of the equation, the poor, poor people will stop, the, uh, will stop the economic growth instantly. So these two things are connected. The central idea of the Prime Minister, which I contest and I don't agree with, is that he believes that India can be run through the PMO. He believes that India, that Narendra Modi ji himself can transform India. I don't believe that. I have seen, I have seen India for too long to believe that one man is capable of transforming a country of 1.3 billion people. My belief is that the only way to transform this country is to empower people in this country like yourselves. So that's the difference between the suit boot concept and the distributive involve everybody concept to the Congress party. And by the way, by the way, it's pretty apparent. Suit boot is failing. It's completely failing because there are no jobs being created. The economy is in the doldrums. And you don't have health and education expenditure. So the country basically is not moving. 